Hello everybody and welcome back to Traversing Food, where today we're going to be checking out another one of these U.S. halal meals. Today we have the vegetable barley stew with lamb. I know I've done one a little over a month ago. I think these are really good and, and just wanted to try another one with lamb. I think my next main review I'll get back to doing some more 24-hour rations, especially since the uh, end of the year coming up. I'm going to try and find one a little bit special. I think i got something planned that would be pretty good. But anyway, let's get this opened up. See what we got in here. Okay, first up, let's see here. We have our halal vegetable barley stew with lamb. This is, I believe it's eight ounces. And we have our nutritional fact sheet for it. And I, I wish I had a lot more of the US uh, rations ingredient list was that short got our flameless ration heater got a accessory pack we'll open that up in a second what we got for snacks we got dry roasted and salted peanuts cranberries I know a lot of people don't like cranberries but at least they're not the osmotic cranberries because even I don't like those Got a snack a doodle mix. A grape flavored no fruit juice. <laughs> and a oatmeal cookie. And for our accessory pack. Got a paper towel. Or napkin, spoon, pepper, a moist towelette, some sugar, a packet of salt, good old lighthouse toilet paper, and our matches. Okay, and that is everything. Got a lot of decent items here to check out. But anyway, let me get my tray, get everything started. Okay, here's everything. Let's uh, get our flame ration heater going here and get our meal heated up. Hope everybody's doing well, doing okay here. We've been, uh, man, we've been getting a lot of rain lately. Okay, get some water in here. Get our clip ready. I think these uh these start off uh, pretty quick. If I remember right. That is plenty. Already here it sizzling. And uh yeah, she going. Let's set this off to the side. Start getting everything else ready. Get this back into view here. Get our drink ready. Oh, great. I can't even tear that right. <laughs> that was pretty pathetic, Steve. Just calls for 12 ounces of water. It's going to be about. Yeah, it's about. Can tell that'd be about nine ounces. That'll be fine. I don't like using a full 12 ounces of water anyway, because they uh, gonna be a little bit weak. And I don't know why I just grabbed my regular spoon. <laughs> we already got one. Anyway, let's uh, 
check out our moist towel lit. I'll keep mixing that up as we go along. It's got a lot of sugar in there. It takes a while to dissolve. And these are, uh, they're okay. The paper is pretty flimsy. They're decently wet. They're not dripping wet like a lot of other ones. But they do the job. I mean, you're just, it's already tearing and just <laughs> wiping your hands off. Got a little bit of a scent to it. Not much. But, uh, yeah, it dries pretty quick. Okay, what do we got here? This snack a doodle. I have no idea what's in this. I'm looking around here. I didn't really get it open. It didn't have any tear notches on it. That's okay. I'll just get the knife out. Here we got our little desiccant pack. And it looks like I've got a lot of pretzels, little potato sticks, looks like uh, corn nuts, and uh, looks like I've got little sesame sticks in there too. I'm not sure what these are. And it wouldn't surprise me if we had some peanuts in there too. And we'll get our oatmeal cookie opened up. Hopefully it's in one piece. And it is. And the cranberries. That's where they got a tire notch on oh, this one halfway through. Halfway down the bag. I'm not gonna pour all those out. That's uh that's probably a half of them. There's a lot of cranberries. And uh we'll uh, kind of move those over a little bit. Got a little bit of room for our Roasted and uh, salted peanuts. And is there a tear notch on this? Yeah, there is. Vacuum sealed really well. Okay, let's try the snack mix first. Let's see, we got pretzels, got some corn nuggets, we got little, like, uh, look like little potato sticks. Which are bigger pieces. And let's see here. I'm not sure what those are. I know those are like sesame sticks. And do we have? Yeah, we got looks like we got peanuts in there too. Interesting. And yeah, this is actually pretty good. Good and crunchy. Everything's a, a bit salty. The peanuts have like the honey coating on them, so they're a little bit sweet. But, yeah, this is a heck of a lot better than the last halal meal I had. It had that Cajun mix in there, and that flavor just tasted stale for some reason. Not sure why. And we'll check out some of our good old roasted salted peanuts. And, yeah, those are okay. I wish they were a little more roasted. They, uh, they're salted well. Definitely not enough salt on them, but I wish they had a little bit more roast on them. They're still good though. Let's give our grape drink a try. And just your good old artificial grape flavor. I think it's okay. Uh, I know it calls for 12 ounces of water. 8 to 10 is fine. 12 ounces, it's a little bit weak. It's okay. Good and sweet. And let's give our cranberries a try. And they're just good old dried cranberries. A little bit sweet. Not as tart as some other ones that I've had, but uh, yeah, they're pretty good. I'm sure, they go fine with the peanuts too. Okay, we've got our main, and uh, let's see if I can do it lengthwise here. This is pretty darn hot. I'll get the rest of it out of here. Smells pretty good. Looks like I got a decent amount of barley in there. Got some uh, carrots. Looks like a little pieces of corn, potatoes. Got some lamb. 
couple of decent chunks in here. But, uh, you know, let's see what the lamb tastes like. And uh, that's a little bit interesting. That's really not what I expected. I'm not saying I don't like it, but it's almost a little bit bland. And it's, it's almost borderline on being a little bit sweet. That's a, hmm, I don't know what to think of this one. And I don't know if it's because uh, the rations in, or the Flamin's ration heaters in these get so hot, but the, the barley is very soft. But as flavor-wise, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit bland. Almost seems like you need something to spice it up a little. And for something that you probably rarely see me do, yeah, I'm getting the salt, too. I'm not going to use it all. But, uh, yeah, it, it needs it. Yeah, the salt and pepper helps out a lot. The, the lamb is pretty tasty. I know sometimes it can uh, have a big chunk of fat on there, but uh, this time it came out pretty good. But yeah, the uh, like I said, the salt and pepper helped out quite a bit. Okay, check out our oatmeal cookie, which is going to crumble everywhere. Try not to get crumbs everywhere, because these are pretty crumbly. And yeah, oatmeal cookie's great. A little bit sweet, very crunchy, and it almost just crumbles apart. It's because it it's a little bit dry too. Pretty heavy on the cinnamon flavor. I like them. In a way, I almost wish I didn't get cranberries. Got like a, a packet of pudding, like last time, and I, I guarantee you'd go really good with that cookie. But anyway, that's going to do it for this review. Um, would I buy this again? Yeah, I think I would. You know, the like I said, the main is a little bit bland and a little bit towards the sweet side. I'm not saying it tastes as sweet as the cookie, but it's just borderline sweet. The the salt and pepper you just definitely need it. It helps out a lot. I love this snack mix. Very good. Peanuts, cranberries. I always enjoy them, especially that cookie. The grape drink's fine. You know it's doing you know, just artificial. But like I said, it's going to do it for this review of the USA Halal Vegetable Barley Stew with Lamb. Hope you really enjoyed the review. I know I enjoyed it. And if you did, hit that like button, share with your friends, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.